Finally, you may sometimes have to divide two measured figures. Let's say we want to measure the density of an irregular object. In this case, a volunteer swimmer. We're going to do it by first measuring mass. Then we measure the volume of water displaced by the object. The measurements are made with careful attention to uncertainty. Here are the results. From these, we can calculate the density. But what about the uncertainty? The individual uncertainties are, for mass, plus or minus 0.5 kilograms, the limit of the scales. For volume, we allow plus or minus 200 millilitres, or 0.2 of a litre, for factors such as splashing. As with multiplication, the way to handle it is to convert the uncertainties to percentages of the measured figures. And, as with multiplication, we must add the two numbers to find the percentage uncertainty for density. This is the only way to get a realistic figure. It allows for all the inaccuracies there might have been in the individual measurements.